Hello, not sure who is here with us. We are not in the park and not at 10 o'clock, but um, whenever we could, here we have some people, Otilia, Svetlana, and some girl in the back that I don't know. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> Hi, she's anonymous, anonymous today. <laughs> there she, oh my God, look at what she's doing. Anyway, <laughs> we're, we're gonna get started. Uh, and we'll start in standing today, so let's get their mats, whoever is watching. Let us move back a little bit so I can see myself, or move the camera slightly. Still not quite okay. Let's get to the top of the mat, take a deep, deep breath, roll the shoulders back. And just stay here grounding, tuning in, shifting the focus inward, deep inhale and slowly complete exhale. One more time, deep inhale, slowly complete exhale and we'll take a few more rounds of breath in silence. And slowly blink the eyes open, roll the shoulders out, ground the feet firmly into the floor, lift the toes and then lower them, gripping the mat firmly, rising high. As you inhale, reach the arms up above the head, look up and lengthen. As you exhale, begin to swan dive forward. You can soften the knees if you need to for the first time, all the way down to a forward fold. Separate the knees, soften, or separate the feet, soften the knees, and walk it out, bending one knee at a time. Taking deep breaths. You can move the head gently side to side. Catching both elbows, hang out here. Shaking out the head again, yes and no. And then just stay, a few more breaths. Release the arms, hang like a rag doll. Soften the knees and begin to roll back up again, all the way to standing, all the way up. Inhale, roll the shoulders out. Bring the feet together, inhale and exhale. Feel like you're rising nice and tall out of the crown of the head. As you inhale, sweep the arms up once again. Gentle back bend, opening up the chest. As you exhale, swan dive forward one more time. Exhale. Inhale, halfway up, palms on the shins. Lengthen, stay parallel to the floor. Chest nice and flat. As you exhale, let's step back into plank. First plank. I'm going to go sideways so you can see me a little better. So stay in plank. Shift forward on the toes, back in that belly, and hold. We'll take a deep inhale and hold for five breaths. Five, four, three, two, and one. Exhale slowly all the way down. Roll the shoulders back. Inhale, peeling off the floor into cobra. You can make a baby cobra or a full one. Stay here, kicking the hips down on the ground. Lifting the chest. Pulling the shoulders back, roll over to one hip, to one side. Looking over the opposite shoulder, lengthening here. Deep, deep breath. Inhale back to center and exhale to the other side. Inhale back to center, opening up once again. Shoulders drop back, elbows slightly bent, hugging the chest. And exhale back into child's pose, connecting toes, opening knees, stretching out, lengthening. Three deep breaths right here. Three. Two. And one. 
Inhaling, lifting 204, stacking the toes, pull should be pushing back into downward dog and walking it out. Since it's our first one, just shifting from side to side, bending one knee at a time and taking deep, deep breaths. Once again, set both heels down to the mat, soften the chest, let it come between the arms towards the thighs, make the arms long, the shoulders move away from the ears. Three deep breaths, three. Inhale and deep, exhaling, pushing the air to the back of the throat, constricting the throat slightly, making a sound. Last one. Inhale, lift the heels, bend the knees, belly to the thighs. You can walk or hop forward. Inhaling halfway up, once again, palms on the shins, lengthening, inhale, exhale, refold, deep forward fold. Inhale, sit the arms through sides, all the way to standing, gentle back bend, inhale. Exhale, hands to heart, interlace fingers, thumbs cross, index fingers point up, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale over to your right side, halfway. Stay here and hold, three, two, each count as a breath, pressing into the left foot, and one, inhale back to center, exhale over to the other side, pressing into the right foot, three deep breaths, three, two, rotating the chest open, pressing feet into the ground, last one. Inhale back to center, right away from here into a gentle back bend. Inhale. And exhale, swan dive. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, walk or hop back into plank. Hold that plank, shift forward on the toes. Now exhale down to the level of the elbows, or if you can prefer, you can still go all the way down. If you're coming to Chaturanga, level of the elbows, Roll over the toes, tops of the feet on the ground, knees and hips are floating, chest moving forward between the arms, opening up, and as you exhale, fun way to come out of it, you can roll back over the toes and push back up into downward dog. Let the chest be nice and long and soft and take again three deep, deep breaths. Feel the lengthening between the tailbone and the crown of the head, the whole spine lengthening, stretching out. Three, two, and one. Inhale, lift the heels, bend the knees, belly to the thighs, hop or walk forward. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, refold. Inhale, arms through sides, all the way to standing. Gentle back bend, inhale. Exhale, hands to heart. Same thing as we did before, interlacing fingers, index finger points up, thumbs cross, inhale, reach up. Lengthen, grounding the feet, exhale over to your right. Hold, three more breaths here, three. A little deeper with each one, two. And one. Inhale back to center, exhale over to your left. Once again, lengthening, breathing, three, two, rotating the chest open, and one, back to center, right away into a back bend, inhale, exhale, swan dive forward, inhale, halfway up, exhale, walk or hop back to plank, hold that plank a little longer, we'll take a few push-ups, you can do knees on the ground or knees up. Shifting forward and exhale, take it down and up with breath. Keep going. No particular number, just whatever you can fit into the time that we'll be doing it. And I said just a couple more, or you can stop anytime. Very good. And hold at the top of the plank. Inhale. Exhale, shift forward, shift forward, and take it down halfway or all the way. Inhale. Upward dog of cobra. Once again, opening up the chest, the heart, lengthening. Make sure your lower back is nice and long. 
and then exhale, rolling over the toes, coming through the push-up, or you can do any other way. You can also touch the knees to the ground when you come up. Three deep breaths and downward dog. Three. Two. Lengthening. Heels reach to the ground. Deep breaths. Tuning attention inward. And one. Lift the heels, bend the knees, look forward, inhale. Exhale as you hop forward. Inhale, halfway up. Fingertips can be on the ground again. Or palms on the shins. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, arms through sides, all the way to standing, gentle dog bend. Exhale, hands to heart, and one last time, a set of half moons. Once again, interlacing those fingers, crossing the thumbs, index finger points up. Inhale, exhale to your right for three deep breaths. See if you can go any deeper into that side bend. Two. Remember to press the opposite foot into the ground, especially. And one. Inhale back to center. Exhale over to the other side. Three. Two. Lengthening the rope, taking the chest open. And one. Inhale back to center. Exhale, release. Arms down to sides. Roll the shoulders out. Standing tall. And once again, go inward. Take a couple breaths, just standing still. You can close the eyes if you like. Feel the central axis connecting the feet and the crown of the head. And exhale. Next, we're going to go into chair pose or awkward pose. So feet still together or close together simply. Inhale, exhale, bend the knees, sweep the arms up. Hold. Weight is on the heels. Wiggle the toes. Lift them off the mat. Set them back down. Make sure you can see the toes so the knees are not past them. So you can sit any lower. Lift the chest higher. Maybe connect the palms. Take the gaze towards them. Once again, lengthening that spine. And three more breaths here. Hold. Three. Two. And one. Inhale. Lift up. We're going to separate the arms. 90 degree angle, baby back bend, exhale. Inhale, straighten the arms once again. Exhale, fold forward. Deep, deep forward, fold, lengthening even more. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, walk or hop back, chaturanga. Inhaling at the top, shifting forward on the toes. Exhale, hover or come all the way down. Inhale, upper dog or cobra. And exhale, take it back to downward dog. Right leg rises up. Reach it up and lengthen. Stay here for a moment. Exhale, bend the knee, heel to the opposite hip, twisting the hips out to the right. Just take a deep, deep breath, opening the hips. Keep that chest nice and parallel. Inhale, re-extend the leg. Exhale, send that leg forward, setting it down between the hands. So any way that you can, make sure in, you're in the low lunge. Turn the back foot out, set it down flat, rising up into warrior one. Squaring up the hips, the shoulders. Hold. Opening up the chest. You can 90 degree bend in the front leg. And then as you exhale, bring those arms behind your back, interlace fingers, pull those knuckles back to the back of the knee, opening up the chest, inhale. As you exhale, send the chest forward, shoulder forward, coming inside the ankle, inside the front leg, shoulders coming inside that knee, if you can. Drop down as low as you can. Keep the chest facing forward, hips stay low. Letting the arms higher. Breathe deep. Three. Two. Lower, lower, lower for one more deep breath. And one. As you rise up, keep those arms behind you. And as you open up, turn half, turn half a turn or quarter turn to the left. Opening up the arms to warrior two. Sit nice and low. Stay here. 
Inhale, straighten the front leg. Reverse triangle, opening up the right side. Deepening that stretch. Lengthening the waist. Exhale, back to warrior two. Inhale here, looking forward. And exhale, windmill the hands down, turning that back heel, lifting it off the ground, coming to a low lunge here. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step back to plank. Holding at the top of the plank, and we'll take a few push-ups once again. Knees down or knees up. And begin. Again, not counting, just taking a little time to do either push-ups or you can just hold the plank as well. Two more for those who are doing them. And two. And as you exhale, shift forward on the toes. Exhale, either hover or flat down on the back if you like. Inhaling upward over cobra. And exhale back to downward dog. Take a couple breaths here. <sighs> Inhale and exhale completely. The other leg up, left one. Rising up, lifting up, squaring up the hips for now. Just standing here and stretching out. And then in the knee, right heel, oh sorry, left heel to the right hip, twisting the hips out to the left. Trying to keep the chest in alignment. Couple more breaths. Inhale, straighten the leg once again, square off the hips, facing forward. Exhale, carry that leg forward. Use some momentum to set it down between the hands, starting with low lunge. Then turning that back foot out slightly, rising up to where you want. Hips are parallel, shoulders parallel. Rise up and stay. Squaring up, facing forward. Exactly to the front. Three more breaths. Three. Two. And one. Exhale. Bring those hands behind you. Interlace fingers. Inhale. Open up the chest. Reach those knuckles back to the back of the knee. And exhale. Reach the chest forward. Coming inside the front leg. Trying to face forward. Coming to humble warrior. Arms lift as high as you comfortably can. Keep the hips squared off, keep them nice and low, and breathe, three. Is it paused? Sorry, something got <laughs> messed up here. So let's go back to warrior two, holding up warrior two. Quarter turn to your right. One more deep breath, inhale, straighten the front leg, exhale, reverse triangle to the other side now. Breathing and lengthening. Inhale, lift it up, back to warrior two. Lowering, 90 degree angle in the front, shoulders are over the hips. Inhale, deep, exhale, sit lower. One more breath, exhale, windmill the hands down. Lifting that back heel, facing the front. Exhale, step back to plank. Take an inhale, add the top of the plank, shift forward on the toes, and just a vinyasa, exhaling either to the elbows or all the way down, inhale upward over cobra, lifting the chest, lifting the heart, and exhale downward dog. And once again, three deep breaths, three, two, And one, inhale, lift the heels, bend the knees, belly to the thighs, hop or walk forward. Inhaling halfway up, lifting the chest. Exhale, take it down, deep forward fold. Bend the knees as you rise, returning to chair pose. And hold once again. We'll take a little longer here, just stay. Sit nice and low, exhale, swing the arms back. Lifting those fingertips, squeezing the chest. Inhale, rise up, lifting the chest, but stay low. The legs are nicely bent. Exhale, swing it back. Inhale, rise back up. One last time, exhale, swing them back. Inhale, rise back up and hold. Three breaths, 
three, two, sitting nice and low again, checking if the knees are not past the toes, and one, inhale, lift up, exhale, our elbows 90 degrees, cactus arms, baby back, then exhale, inhale, rise up, reach up and lengthen, exhale, slowly release, arms to sides, roll the shoulders out, close the eyes and breathe. Rising high through the crown of the head once again. Take two more breaths, just standing here and resting, and we're going back to chair pose after that. Everybody's doing okay here. Hey. Bend the knees once again, and back to chair pose. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, bring those palms to heart. Sit nice and low. Start turning to your right side. Turn, 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 turn. Set that left elbow on the outside of the right knee and stay here for a moment. Just getting some messages. Let me check what's going on here. Looks like everybody can see us. Okay, hold. I'm gonna turn so you can see it better because we're gonna see if we can hold our weight just on the right leg and maybe pick up the left foot. So it doesn't work, not a big deal. This is what we're doing next. We're reaching that left leg back. You can just step it and trying to set it down behind us, coming into a twisted lunge. So our arms are on the outside of the right thigh, lifting the gaze, twisting, keeping those hips nice and low. Keep rotating. If you feel like it, you can extend the arms here. That's a new practice. One reaching down to the floor, one up towards the sky. Keep the hips low. The left hand can also be inside. You don't have to do that deep, deep twist. Just whatever works. As you exhale, bring both thumbs down. Frame the foot, drop that back knee down, release the top of the foot, and with the back knee behind you, rise up. Lifting the chest, opening up and lengthening. Knee can be slightly past the foot in the front. And exhale, release those palms down, shift the weight back, keep the toes tucked in the back, straighten the front leg, inhale, half split. Exhale, belly, chest, and forehead towards the leg. Not very really good for my knee here. <laughs> Once again, round the back, slowly rising up and lengthening. Exhale, fold forward. Taking two more deep breaths, softening, sinking. And inhale, start shifting the weight forward once again, tuck the toes, holding that lunge. And as you exhale, step back into plank. Inhaling at the top of the plank, shifting forward on the toes. Exhale, same vinyasa as before, level of the elbows or all the way down. Exhale, and then inhale, lift up. Exhale, back to downward dog. Taking three deep breaths here. Three. Two. And one. Lift the heels, bend the knees, belly to the thighs. Hop or walk forward to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, refold. Bend the knees as you rise up into Utkatasana, chair pose. Three deep breaths here. Three. Sit nice and low. Two. And one. Inhale, lift up. Cut cactus arms, 90 degrees. Baby back bend. Exhale. Inhale, rise high. And exhale. Roll those shoulders out, take a deep breath. Inhale, it. exhale, we're starting on the left side. So top of the mat once again, beginning with chair pose. Sweep the arms up, squat nice and low. And stay. Bring the hands towards the heart. Inhale, exhale, begin to twist your left side. Right elbow to the outside of the left knee. As far outside of it as you can. Opening the chest to the side, trying to keep the knees even on the same lines, feet as well. Take a look at them and check. 
and stay here. Keep taking a deeper, deeper twist. Breathe. Shift all the way into the left foot. See if you can take the right one off the ground or just slightly lift, maybe set it on the toes. Stay here and hold that balance. And then see if you can reach that right leg back. You can take it as slow or as fast as you like, setting it down behind you and deepening the twist, really bringing that elbow to the outside. Try to keep the hips parallel, also nice and low, same long line. And you can stay here or release the arms. And remember, you can take the right hand inside the left foot. It doesn't have to be quite that intense. Opening up the chest, deepening the twist. Three, two, and one. Exhale, release both hands down. Turn to face the front of the mat, dropping that back knee down once again. And rising up, slowly lifting the chest, reaching the arms. Squaring off here, lengthening. Taking three deep breaths here. The combination between the rising up and pushing the hips slightly forward. Three, kind of gentle balance between the two. And one more deep breath. Exhale, release the palms down, shift the weight back, lengthening the front leg, flexing the foot, lifting those toes. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold, draping yourself down over that leg, half split. Once again, rounding out the back, lifting up, exhaling, folding forward. One last time, round the back, lengthen, exhale, cascade down over that leg. Two more deep breaths. And shift the weight forward, tucking the toes, lifting that back knee. One more vinyasa, step back to plank. And you can hold plank, you can go down and rest or take one last set of push-ups. Exhale, come down, inhale, lift up. And we'll go this time for about eight times. And I'm already done with four, so four more. Four, three, two, and one. Inhale at the top, shift the weight forward. Exhale, bring it all the way down this time. Forehead down, roll the shoulders back. Inhale, lifting up into cobra. Hold the cobra a little longer. Opening up the chest, opening up the heart. Take it halfway down, taking the hands off the ground, reaching them back, lifting the feet off the ground. Maybe interlacing palms behind the back if you like. And hold five breaths right here. Staying nicely lifted. Five. Four, three, keep breathing, two, and one. Exhale, release, make a forearm pillow for your forehead, bend the knees, and the windshield wipers, rolling the legs side to side here. Ah. Mm. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling out of the mouth. Ah. Phew, I can hear. Nice and deep breath here in the room. Oh, release the legs. Take a moment here just to relax. Forehead can be on the palms. Shake out the hips one more time, shaking out the whole body. And take it back to child's pose to loosen our back. So once again, opening the knees slightly, connecting the toes, walking out to the front, bringing the forehead to your mat. And breathe, rock it out side to side, gently. Three, two, and one. Rising up to all fours, tucking the toes, moving back to downward dog. And hold. Two more breaths, two. Pressing into those heels. And one, lift the heels, bend the knees, belly to the thighs, hop or walk forward to the top of the mat. Inhaling halfway up, palms on the shins, lengthen. 
Exhale, fold. As you inhale, bend the knees, drop the hips, rise up into chair pose one more time. And another little standing flow here, inhaling, sending those palms back above your head, bending the elbows, gently opening the chest. As you exhale, sit even lower, straighten the arms, reach them forward as low and as far as you can, contracting as much as you can. And continuous motion, rising up, opening up the chest, maybe sending those palms back, exhale, Sit as low as you can. Once again, inhaling, sending those palms back. Exhale, sit as low as you can. One last one, inhale, sending those palms back. Exhale, forward. And inhale, just rise up, hold three breaths. Statically here, you can open the arms, three, two, and one, all the way back up to standing. Exhale, open up those arms, cactus arms, 90 degrees, gentle down bend. Inhale, reach back up. And exhale, hands to heart. Release the palms. Roll the shoulders out. Take a deep breath, a little water break, and I'll check if the broadcast is still going. I think it is, awesome. So we're coming back into to our mat in just a moment after we take a drink of water. Everybody's alive? Absolutely. <laughs> So we're stepping nice and wide with feet parallel. Going for some prasarita padatanasanas. Bring the hands to the lower back, like so. Maybe fingertips lifting, lifting high, maybe to the side, whatever works for you. Inhale as you push the hips slightly forward, open up, gentle back bend. Hold that inhale. As you exhale, start hinging forward. Add the hips, add the hip creases. Keep the flat spine, bring the palms down, right in front of you, under the shoulders. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale as you walk those hands under, crown of the head comes down right under the hips. Lengthening the spine as much as you can. And hold your five deep breaths, five. Four, three, two, and one. Slowly walk those palms forward, right underneath the shoulders, lengthen halfway up, inhale. Exhale, catch the hips, right hand then left, and rise back up to standing. Straighten out, maybe gentle push of the hips forward, extend both arms out to the sides. Exhale, bring them behind you and interlace once again, like we did before. Pulling those knuckles down, opening up the chest, back bending gently. Inhale, exhale. Prasarita Padatanasana C, hinging forward at the hips. Crown of the head reaching down for the ground. Arms reach forward, eventually towards the mat, towards the floor. Oh, yes, taking five more deep breaths. <laughs> Eventually, eventually. <laughs> well, we can have to be it's not, it's not, not the point, not the point. <laughs> Circus is not the point, but it can be a side effect. Three more deep breaths. Three. Two. And one. Inhale, slowly rise back up. You can get those palms together. And then release them. Roll the shoulders out. Bring those feet back together. You can heel toe them or jump together. Come to the top of the mat. Roll the shoulders out and stay. Take a couple more breaths right here. Gonna do one last thing. Extending. Let's do a balance. So balancing on our right leg. With my right leg. I'm gonna start on the left. Slowly lifting that left knee up. Picking it up. Holding. Right here. <laughs> Picking up that left leg, 
hold for a moment, rotate the foot one way and the other. So we'll look, make, make a little flow out of this. Letting go slowly, and we're going to start pushing that back like that. Slowly extending it as we tilt forward, opening up into that airplane balance or worry three variation. The hips are parallel to the ground, the shoulders, the chest, we're not going to stay here long. We're going to return once again to standing, bring the palms together, bring that leg in front, 90 degrees, foot flexed, knees in front, standing leg nice and strong, and diving forward once again to warrior three, airplane, and rising back up. Knee comes to the front. One more time. Next time we can try to straighten the leg in the front. Reach it back. Rise up. See if you can straighten the leg here. Maybe extend the arms up. Hold, 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 hold. Rising up nice and high. And slowly release. Shake out the legs. Switch to the other side. So starting on the left. Bring that right knee in. Rotate the ankle. One way or the other. Bring it up nice and high. And slowly begin to reach back into warrior three variation, into your airplane. Chest floating parallel to the ground. Slight opening through the shoulders. Kind of like a little baby cobra right here. Breathe deep. As you exhale, start rising back up. Bring that knee in front of you 90 degrees. You can bring the hands in front of the heart. Stand nice and tall. Continue that same flow. Playing with our balance. Lengthening. And slowly, slowly rising up once again. Hold. One last time. Take it back into warrior three. Into that airplane. Lengthen from the crown of the head to the back of the foot. Start rising back up. This time we go for straightening the leg, or if we don't have to, we can just stay here. Extend if you can. Keep those hips even. Don't let the left hip hike up. Lift up the arms. And three breaths here. Three, two, and one. Exhale, release. Shake it all out. Yep. <laughs> Let's do top of the mat once again. We're going to be moving down to the ground. Ah, the ground is calling. Feet together. Deep inhale and exhale. Inhale, sweep the arms up, gentle back bend. Inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway up, palms on the shins. Exhale, walk or step back into plank. Taking it one more time right here. And let's bring both knees down. We're going to bring the right knee down and turn to the left, building a side plank. So it's going to be a half side plank first with the right knee down. Let's float that left leg up and make one long line from the fingertips to the foot. Keep those toes flexed on the left leg. Keep floating here. You can play with it. You can reach that right left hand for the left ankle. Take a gentle stretch. Walk down towards the ground. Maybe look up. Listen to the thunder. Not sure if it can be heard. Facebook, but we have it. <laughs> Re-extend once again. So you can stay here, or you can try stacking those feet or scissoring them. Stepping one in front of the other and lifting the top arm up. You can stay here, or we can play here by taking that left arm down, twisting to face the ground once again. Another option is to keep the left foot in front like this, if you're losing balance. And you can still do the same thing here, twisting down, lifting up. A couple more, exhaling, twisting down, inhaling, lifting up. One last time, if that works, exhaling down, lifting up. And exhale, turn to face the front, back to plank. We're going to push back into downward dog right away. Take a deep breath. And then again, lift the heels, bend the knees. We're not coming down to standing, so you can just bring the knees down. And we're going to come to seated, or you can hop forward, bring them right behind the hands, switching 
all the way to seated. Keeping our legs nice and long in the front, lifting up the chest. And take a moment here and then dust the palms are right under the shoulders. Flex the feet, energize the legs. Lift those kneecaps. Tighten the quads, tighten the belly. Sit up nice and tall. Root lock, pulling in on the pelvic floor, pulling everything inward and up. Then tighten the lower belly, the belly lock, and exhale, Jala Narabandha. Bring the chin to chest. Take five breaths right here. Five. Four, three, two, holding all those locks for one more breath as you breathe. One, relax, exhale, inhale it both arms up and lengthen. Exhale as you start reaching forward as far as you can, catching whatever we can, any part of the legs, ankles, outside of the feet, big toes with middle and big fingers, or deeper. We're just holding one forward fold. So we'll make it nice and long. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold deep and stay. Three. Actually, let's make it five. Sorry, five. Four. Three. Two, and one, inhale, halfway up, lengthen. Exhale, lift it back up to seated. Cross those ankles in front of you, bring the knees in nice and close. You can try balance here, just lifting up, pulling those hips off the ground, maybe lifting the feet, or just attempting and thinking about the breath. I can't do the job for either. <laughs> so from here, just to walk forward and step back into plank for one more little vinyasa to transition to the other side or to the other, whatever, <laughs> the other side of side plank. Exhale, hover over the ground. Inhale, lift back up, over. Exhale, take it back to downward dog. Resting here for a couple breaths, lengthening. Inhale, shift forward into plank. Bring your left knee down and turning to the other side. I'm just going to turn around here. Lengthening that right arm. Left arm is under the shoulder. Right foot floats off the ground. Foot flexes and just hang out here. Stay. Lengthen. If you like, you can reach that right hand for the right foot or right ankle. And gentle stretch, opening up those hip flexors as much as we can, looking down. Then looking back up. Looking back down. Extending that leg and arm once again. You can stay right here or build any of the following. You can scissor the feet. You can bring the right foot in the front. Keep the left one on the outer edge. Or you can try to stack the feet and hold that side plank, lifting those hips high, lifting the waist high as much as we can, breathing, looking up, and same thing as before, same flow, taking that right arm down underneath the left, like spreading the needle, turning to the ground, inhaling, lifting, and three more, three, two, last one. And one. Exhale, bring it back down to plank. Hold at the top of the plank. Exhale, bring all the way down. So we're coming down to the mat again, to the ground. Take a break here. Bring the forehead towards the palms. Shake out those hips. Inhale and exhale. We're going to bring our forearms on the mat like this, like sphinx pose. So. They're parallel, shoulder width apart, chest the forearms, chest comes in between. Lengthening, lifting the chest, keeping the hips low, lower back long. Take one more deep breath, chest is pulling through, gaze is towards the tip of the nose and down from it. And exhale, release for a moment. Once again, shake out the hips, shake out the whole body. So we're coming back to that same forearm position, only now we're turning the left foot, left hand, to face the right elbow. 
staying right here, bending that right knee. We're going to reach the right hand back and catch preferably the inside of that foot if we can. So there's a funny way to do this where we bring the index finger in between the toes and rotate the palm, but it doesn't have to be. You can just rotate the palm. So any way that works, I'll throw that a little closer, maybe. So you bring the palm to the foot, maybe rotate it so that the index finger is between the big toe and the one next to it, and then start to bring it down. Or you can just keep the hand on top of the foot. Again, not terribly important. Gazing forward, heel to the outside of the glute as much as you can. Breathing, turning those hips and chest forward. And exhale, release, switching to the other side. So right forearm comes, comes in front of you. Bending that left knee, reaching the left hand to the left foot. So now maybe you can see it. And again, it's a little crazy, a, a twist in the hand. So you want to turn the hand so the heel of the palm is down towards your, the back of the mat and fingers to the front. Maybe index finger between the toes. But whatever we can to just hold that foot and bring it to the outside of the left glute, facing forward again. And taking some deep breaths. Three. Two. And one. Release. Take a break right here. Maybe take a child's pose for a moment. Everybody likes the child's, the child's yeah. pose. Blah, blah, <laughs> And slowly lifting out of it back for downward dog. Hang out and downward dog for one more breath. Just wiping that slate clean, lengthening, heels reaching to the ground. We're really open now. Inhale, shift forward. We're coming flat down on the mat once again. Inhale at the top. Exhale, come down. We're down your asana, bow. Bending the knees, catching our feet as, as far as we can. Stay down for a moment. Just bring the chin down, bring the chest. Thighs press into the ground, into the mat. Inhale deep, exhale, press everything down. Next inhale, rise. Lift into wherever we comfortably can. Try to bring the knees closer together. Lifting the feet high. And three more breaths. Three. Lifting up higher, higher, higher. Two. Even higher. And one. Release. Forehead to the ground or to a forearm pillow. Shake out the hips. Take a couple breaths right here, rest. And we're gonna push back up into downward dog. Hang out here for a moment. And bring the knees down, coming back to seated. Taking a couple boat poses here, balancing on our tailbone. Lifting those shins so they're staying parallel to the ground. Maybe releasing the arms one at a time. Maybe straightening the legs. Lifting the chest high and hold. Five. Four. Lifting the gaze, smiling. Three. Two. And one. Cross those ankles. Bring them nice and close to your body. Palms right under your shoulders, lift the hips, maybe lift the feet for just a breath, and then bring it down one more time to our boat pose, Navasana. Supporting, not supporting, knees bent or straight, four. So we'll do three sets of this. This is the second one, three, two, and one. Cross those ankles, bring them nice and close, palms under the shoulders. Maybe lifting up and balancing, setting it down one last time. Lifting up. Five. Four. Lifting high. Three. Two. And one. Last one. Remember to switch the ankles. 
bring the other one in the front every time one last time lifting up the hips attempting thinking or maybe lifting and bring it all the way down release the legs in the front and we're coming down all the way to the mat slowly with control bring yourself down extend those arms back reach and lengthen then arms alongside the body slide those shoulder blades towards each other bend the knees bring them close to the hips keep them nice nicely hip width apart parallel and slowly lift those hips up maybe moving the shoulders closer to each other maybe interlacing the palms feel that effort in your quads quads are really engaged lifting high lifting your chest lifting your belly lifting your hips leaving a little space between the chin and the chest one more nice and deep lift one more effort and then exhale start to release upper back down opening those shoulders center of the back lower back and hips hang out here you can keep the knees bent maybe move them side to side slightly like windshield wipers we're going to go either for one more set of that same bridge or for full danyarasana so if you're doing the bridge you know what to do we just did it or for danyarasana we bring those palms so that they're coming by the shoulders fingertips towards the shoulders feet are in the same position as for a bridge inhale deep press into the hands and feet and begin to lift up trying to keep those feet parallel and on the mat if you're in bridge again you know what to do wherever we are three more deep breaths three two and one if you're holding full down your ass in the tuck the chin starts slowly bending it bring the head down then the shoulders the rest of the body and if you're in bridge same thing just vertebra by vertebra bring the knees into the chest give yourself a hug rock side to side gently massaging the lower back and we're going to be rolling into the shoulder stand alternative to the shoulder stand just legs up 90 degrees so you can stay here or bring yourself up into shoulder stand trying to keep those feet above the face breathing once again if you're in shoulder stand try to lift those hips higher feet right over your nose if you like you can take one leg down behind your head maybe open it up into something like a split then inhale bring it all back up and switch to the other side and let's return back to full shoulder stand the legs nice and high and all start to move towards halasana plow lowering those hips forward lowering those legs far behind our head if they don't come to the ground that's fine just stay here and float if they do just stay toes on the ground if it's easy you can bring the tops mm -hmm. of the feet to the ground and maybe extend the arms keep those palms interlaced hold and breathe and time to slowly unroll i'm just gonna keep my legs straight kind of do a reverse forward fold reverse Paschimottanasana then lower those hips down and take the legs down with control letting them come down to the ground to your mat exhaling staying for a moment just breathing the last thing is the counter pose to the shoulder stand Matsyasana fish so we lift up on the forearms our legs just stay straight in front of us and we move as far back as we need to palms can go actually under your glutes thumbs touching palms open wide opening the chest taking the crown of the head back if it doesn't reach back that means you just need to scoot farther back towards the back of the back of your mat mm -hmm. lifting the chest high and breathing feels so good yay 
We do feel good here. Whoever is doing it with us is feeling the same. Some deep, deep breaths, opening the chest. Last one, then lift the head off the ground, tuck the chin and slowly bring yourself all the way down to the mat. Bend both knees, place the left ankle on top of the right knee. Arms can be on the, at the sides in a T or connect them above your head. And heel toe the right foot out to the right side and then drop both knees down to your left. Yeah, kind of like that. Looking about right behind me here. Stay here for a moment, breathing deep. Relaxing, opening those hips. And slowly prepare to switch to the other side, bring both knees to the center, right ankle over the left knee, heel toe and to the left, dropping the knees over to the right. And again, hands can go behind the head or maybe cactus arms, whatever works. Taking a few deep breaths right here. Three. I don't do this. <laughs> and slowly return to the center. Let's take a few seconds just to give yourself whatever you're missing. Your eye, for instance, always miss the leg stretches, so maybe let one leg and just give it a nice stretch. Maybe oh. even another spinal twist. Whatever, whatever is calling now. Whatever is calling is it? Right. Great. Oh. Oh. I think the rain is gone. So don't take too long, just hang out on one side if you're doing leg stretches, then a few breaths on the other. Or maybe the same if you're doing spinal twists or anything else. Maybe you're going for an inversion, who knows. And whoever is staying on, down on the mat and prefers to stay down for a couple of minutes of final relaxation, may stay down, I'm coming to see that for a brief meditation. So settling down comfortably wherever we are, slowing down the breath. Tell us the water wisdom of yours. The wisdom is always everyone's. <laughs> Just dropping down all Identification with your thoughts. Let's do that a little practice. Whatever thoughts come, whatever sensations come, let them rise and fall. Remembering that they're not your thoughts, because who is there to think the thoughts? Is there a thinker? With some loving, kind attention towards your body, towards whatever you perceive as yourself. Innocent, unharmed, present. Just staying with that presence, grounding the hips. If you're sitting down, grounding your whole body if you're lying down, just feeling it sinking into the floor. And we'll stay for a minute silent.
If you're lying down, deepen the breath. Return to movement very gently first, barely noticeable. And no particular way of moving, just whatever comes to you naturally. Maybe you want a little stretch, or maybe you don't even want to move. That's fine. If you don't want to move, you can stay down. But if you like it, begin to slowly draw your knees towards the chest, rolling over to one side. And then using the arm strength, keeping the eyes closed, bring yourself back to seated. Again, if you wish to come to seat, it's raise, raise, raise those arms up high, inhale, exhale, bring them down to heart. Om, closing our practice, and thank you everyone, thank you the teachers who got with me, thank you the teachers who are doing it on their own, everyone's a teacher. Namaste. Thank you. Oh, thank you for this fascinating practice. Thank you, Svetlana, Tilia, and the anonymous girl Sad in the back. <laughs> thank you. It was, as always. Bye-bye, everyone. Thank you, whoever was watching.